So I was watching the Dale Jr. download and he said, I don't know how I feel about the SRX. And I was like, okay, I don't get that. And then today on Twitter, I saw Adam Stern uh, show that the ratings for the SRX uh, at South Boston this weekend were down uh, compared to last year. So apparently he's not alone. But then I got to thinking, well, you know, why do I feel like this? Why do I like the SRX uh, so much? First off, let's start off with the SRX tracks. They're all legendary short tracks that we love. And TV ratings or not, they're always sold out. Not only are these tracks sold out, but the fans are engaged. I mean, look at this. Eldora, Sobo, Nashville, Five Flags, so on, so on, so on. These are the tracks that we diehards scream about loving so much, and the SRX has delivered. Not only that, but each event feels like an event to itself. And that is to say that each one has its own personality. The next thing that I love about the SRX are the drivers. NASCAR guys, Daytona 500 winners, IndyCar guys, Indy 500 winners, Trans Am champs, seven of them to be exact, all before the age of 24. These drivers alone would be enough to come and see, but the best part is the ringer, or as all the fans in the stands call them, the hometown hero. At this South Boston race, it was two-time NASCAR national champion and multi-time track champion, Peyton Sellers. And although he didn't win this one, don't worry, Peyton, I still bought a t-shirt, buddy. This aspect gives the fans and the detractors what they've always wanted to see. What our guy would do against world champions and the best of the best that made it to the top levels. To me, I wish the SRX had existed when Barry Bagerly, Philip Morris, and Maurice Hill had been at their peaks. Don't recognize those names? Insert your own local legends in there and you'll kind of see what I'm getting at. Now the tracks and the drivers are all fine and good, but it doesn't mean anything if the action on the track doesn't live up to the buildup. Well, I'll let the action speak for itself. So ratings be damned. That's why I like the SRX. And if you haven't seen it yet, I think you're missing out. Oh, and uh, one more thing about the drivers. They don't hide in their motorhomes like at every other racetrack that you go to. This guy right here, he was my bartender before the race. And well, this was him after the race. Michael Waltrip, a man of the people. Oh, and Miles from Delaware, thanks for upgrading my tickets, man. Good to meet you. Oh, and uh, Rodney and Dennis, good to meet you guys, too, finally. <laughs> 